Aldef. This is my husband, Dr. Elon Aldef, and our daughter was Alyssa Aldef, who was brutally murdered on February 14, 2018. We are beyond disappointed with the outcome today. This should have been the death penalty, 100%. 17 people were br brutally murdered on February 14, 2018. I sent my daughter to school and she was shot eight times. I am so beyond disappointed and frustrated with this outcome. I do not understand. I just don't understand this. Um, Dr. Alva. I'm disgusted with our legal system. I'm disgusted with those jurors. I'm disgusted with this system. That you can allow 17 dead and 17 others shot and wounded and not give the death penalty. What do we have the death penalty for? What is the purpose of it? You set a precedent today. You set a precedent for the next mass killing and nothing happens to you. You'll get life in jail. I'm sorry. That is not okay. As a country, we need to stand up and say that's not okay. I pray that that animal suffers every day of his life in jail. And he should have a short life. It's got to be such a disappointing day. Four years you've been living this nightmare. And it's just, there's never going to be any closure. But this really wasn't the outcome you wanted. No, I mean, definitely not. I mean, it's been almost five years. We came here today, and it wasn't even a doubt in my mind that this would be the death penalty. I'm beyond disgusted of what happened, what occurred. And again, what is the death penalty for, if not for the murder and killing of 17 people? What would you ask jurors? What would you ask them if they were right here in front of you? What were you thinking? This isn't about your personal beliefs. It's not about your religious values. It's about the heinous crime that was committed. There is no recovery. Jail's about rehabbing someone. There is no rehabbing. Is there any sense of relief that at least you don't have to come to court anymore? At least you don't have to see this guy anymore? Doesn't matter at this point. And we still have to go to the cemetery to go see our daughter. Do you think there was somebody on the jury, at least one person who, from the get-go, would vote for life, no matter what the evidence showed? Probably. Lord Elon, you guys have to sit there for nearly 50 minutes and listen to them go count by count. Can you tell us what those moments were like? We sat there for over 12 hours waiting to find out our child was dead. And we just sat there being tortured by another hour waiting. This idea of the mitigating factors being his mental illness or this uh, alcohol infant syndrome, that that did not outweigh the, the aggravating did not outweigh the fact that he may have been mentally ill. Does, what does that mean to you? So that means that everyone that has a mental illness should go on a killing spree? That's what we're telling this society? That we're saying that's okay because you have a mental illness? Mental illness isn't cured. And he had antisocial personality disorder, amongst others, oppositional defiant disorder, but it doesn't give him the right to go and kill 17 children, uh, 17 people. And I'm sorry, th this is just not okay. Were you okay with how the state prosecuted the case? Or do you think they could have done anything different to get the list of different sentences? I think the state did a great job. 
I think they did what they could. We're very thankful for them. Unfortunately, the system continues to fail us. Would you say today is a tragic day in Broward County? It's a stain. I'm sorry. It's just a stain, and I live here. It's a stain on this world that we live in. Broward County It's really just a real disappointment. Disappointment. Have you been robbed of justice? Have you been robbed of justice? Absolutely. Absolutely have. So would you say the state let your daughter down? Yes. The jurors let us down. We have a jury system for a reason, and they let us down. They gave their personal beliefs, but they didn't go by the evidence. There was no mitigating factors. I'm sorry. Any mitigation was disproven clearly in the court. There's no reason. And if there is a reason, then why are we, why are we allowing people to just go randomly kill others? Is that, is that what we're telling our society? But it, 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 there's mitigating factors, a lot of hogwash. Do you think Cruz should have been locked up long before February 13, 2018, at least in a mental institution or something along those lines? Locked up, yes. Mental or otherwise, I don't know what the right thing is, but he should have been locked up. He should have been shackled every time he came in to the court. He should have been shackled the entire time he was there. He's not a human being, he's an animal. Well, Ray, in the last four years, you guys have done so much work, Alyssa's Law, what you've been doing the school board. What does this do for you guys to redouble your efforts outside of the courtroom? I mean, what, what's next? So I would say that it just makes the fire inside us even want to fight harder for change. And know that we have to do so much more to prevent the next school shooting and work so much harder because this cannot happen. And our nonprofit, Make Our Schools Safe, we have been fighting to get Alyssa's Law passed nationally as a standard level of school safety protection in every school across this country. So that if there is a life-threatening emergency, law enforcement can get on the scene as quickly as possible and take down the threat. Law enforcement needs to do their job. They cannot stand there and just watch as 17 people get shot and killed. Your job as a police officer is to go in, engage, and take down the threat. And if you can't do that, don't do the job. Willing to plead guilty early on for exchange for life. I'm wondering in retrospect if all of this was worth it. Not just having that outcome on the charges. No. Absolutely not. He should have been given the death penalty from the get go. Will you be Lori after what you just said? I assume you're gonna be there when Scott Peterson goes on file. Absolutely. I just want to end with please. Don't show the shooter's face. Stop showing the shooter's face. No notoriety. 17 people were killed. Let's remember them. Remember Alyssa Aladeff. Remember the 16 others. And you could be a part of helping to stop the next school shooting. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry again for your loss. And you were just listening to Alyssa Aladeff's mom and dad, very passionate words uh his dad her dad for instance said quote i am beyond disappointed i just don't understand 